Empress Virgo, of Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading, there may be a message in it for you. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Quick infomercial, I have a project out right here in my book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal. My journey in the classroom as an empath and a teacher is available wherever books are sold. It's about my journey as an empath and how I taught preschool and K-12 public school in the U.S., how I dealt with my students and the other adults around me. It's a page turning read. It's a mind-boggling read. It's an interesting read, and I hope you guys will consider purchasing a copy for either yourself or someone you know that loves to read books and likes interesting stories. I promise you, you won't be disappointed, okay? Uh, and I have a link listed below in the description box if you guys want to consider purchasing it. Or you can go to your own, um, go to Amazon or whatever uh, retailer you decide to purchase from and just type in the name, okay? And if you see that cover, that's the right book, okay? So let's get into the reading, okay? So, whoa. As a split the deck, we have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups for Scorpio placements. Okay. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have? Romantic love messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Romantic love messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Romantic love messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't, and hitting that notification bell. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Drive here, okay? King of Swords, the Daughter of Wands, the Hangman. Wow, the Supreme came out. This is a specially made card for this actual tarot deck. The Five of Swords, not Five of Swords, hmm. The Five of Wands, excuse me. The Son of Wands, that's the Knight of Wands. The Two of Pentacles, the Magician. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. And the Ace of Swords. Y'all scared. I feel like y'all just scared. You don't want to make the wrong decision anymore. Because in the past, you had previous relationships with people who weren't not necessarily up to par. Okay? And I feel like uh, you were with someone or in several relationships through the course of years where it started off really good and then it fizzled out or something always happened. Um, to where you were like, what the heck is this? I feel like you're showing up in your masculine energy. You could be divine masculine or divine feminine. It doesn't matter because we all have both of those energies. If you didn't know now, now you know because I just told you. But I feel like you're more discerning. You're more, I don't even want to say cutthroat, but you're not willing to waste time on people who will clearly show you who they are. And I feel like you have done that in the past <laughs> with the hangman here. And you were like, come on, please change for me. Do what I need you to do in a relationship. And I feel like it's, it's, it's no go for that now, okay? I feel like you've left that behind. You've gained whatever perspective you needed to gain from those relationships, whatever lessons, whatever knowledge. And you like, you know what, Spirit? I'm not going to let that happen again. Like, you know that you're provided for by Source, Spirit, God, whoever. And you know when the time is right the person you're supposed to be with will come into your life lives okay i feel like this has come after a long period of struggle of going through different relationships feeling like oh my god where's my person or thinking you had your person that you were going to be with for the rest of your life or commit to or whatever the case may be and something always happened to where they showed you, hey, that ain't it, okay? You might have been dealing with, with the uh, Knight of Wands, or you might have been dealing with someone who was a player, or the Page of Wands. Take it how it resonates. You were dealing with someone who was immature. Or even yourself, you had to grow and mature and find out what you wanted out of life and out of a romantic love, love relationship, okay? 
take it how it resonates for you. I feel like you, like I said, you were really, honestly, when you were dealing with particular um, people in relationships, especially romantic relationships, you were always forced to choose them over yourself. I don't know where that coming from. It's like you were pouring into the relationship trying to make sure this person was good, but you always felt out of balance with this person. And I feel like that's the key for y'all. A relationship, a healthy, uh, interdependent relationship, not a codependent relationship, is all about balance. And I feel like this is what Spirit is talking to you about. Um, I feel like being with someone who pours into you like you pour into them, that will be a world of change and do you guys a world of good Scorpio placements. You might have been the one that was always giving uh, to a person who was very narcissistic or very, they just didn't care. They was like, okay, they, they was a taker. You were giving and they were taking. And you found yourself in a constant cycle of being out of balance, feeling like, oh my God, if I stop doing this, they might not want me or this or that and the other. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? I feel like now you know your power. You know, one, that you're backed by the supreme source of all in the universe. And you know that, hey, you're powerful. You can co-create with spirit. Everything you need is within you. And when the time is right, you're man for some a lot of y'all y'all manifesting the connection that you want that will have you balanced as you can see that infinity symbol right there above her head and um you know that you're not gonna settle like you tried to in the past because that's what that was you were settling you might have been dealing with like i said dealing with somebody who had you in competition for their energy had other people on the side or outside whatever the case may be and that's not what you wanted. You wanted something that was pure. You wanted something that nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. But you wanted someone who was at least honest with you. Someone who was at least willing to work with you and put it important to the relationship and be committed and faithful to you. But uh, you're going to get that in the future. And I feel like that's because you put in the effort that you used to put into those, those relationships or those previous love connections. And you're trying to find balance within yourself. As you find that balance within yourself, then you can move forward and with a new beginning in love when the time is right. And look, that's the, um, it's another, uh, infinity. It sure look like an infinity symbol if it isn't on that, uh, Ace of Swords. But anywho, all right, let's see here. For some of y'all, y'all probably manifesting this person while you're in meditation because it looks like she has her eyes closed and she's holding on to that wand or that staff with a crystal on the end, look like clear quartz or um, selenite. But anywho, free yourself. Okay, that's that <laughs> one energy. It's time to take back control of your life. And I feel like that's what spirit has been telling you. Let go of the past. Let go of them connections that are not good for you, especially romantic connections that cause you stress, that cause you to feel out of balance or some type of imbalance, and move forward in, in healing yourself and working with your, working on yourself, okay? That was too many, y'all. All right, anything else for Scorpio placements? Golly, a chunk want to come out, though? Okay. Anything else for Scorpio placements? Well, damn. Release your ex or something, yeah. I told <laughs> yeah. Okay, anything else for Scorpio placements? Anything else? Okay, once you do release that ex, you, you're going to find the one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Okay, some of y'all may have just met someone new. Um, For others of y'all, when you meet someone new, Take your time, but once they show you who they are and everything is lining up and adding up, then you know that you found the one. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? Know that you're getting your new beginning. Know that everything is aligning for you. And know that when you pour into yourself, things will add up. You can't make this stuff up. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Once you find that balance within yourself, love yourself. Now, and I'm not talking about that generic love yourself. I'm talking about actually knowing 
that you deserve the best that life has to offer you in all avenues of your life, okay? Then things will turn around for you, okay? I promise you that, okay? So that's all I have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and we would love to have you guys as a member of the tribe, and I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye, guys.